Tai älä, uh, press conference näpeivi, ei niin ole tyhmäpeivi. Koska kun ne nombot tiesi, että mä olisin siinä nappuissa. Mä olisin se täysin olit siinä ei in contention. Me ennen ei ole surprise, mami. For Chris to understand, se on vähän niin, että short term contract on to me. But it's uh, complicated, Kaka. And it makes a lot of sense. Maybe a case want to do the job. Or yeah, they are. You'll be in high demand. Other national team, but other clubs, but then the Ghana national team will also come to him. So that time, you know, then the Jumedi now say, "Need to open up. Need to open up to to the demands. That one is good for him from one other angle, no. But from here, as journalists, there, we want to find out more why Chris will say or be hooked on to a short term contract this time. But at the end of the day, so Tina, also you, we should forget about it and look at the success story of the journey of us on here for. So why are they? Of course, you understand that because so we are not why are they into into woman. So why are they? You are only be a Ghana for this year, no man. You will start to actually say your man in court, your man in court, your man in court. For me, the duration is a very very good contention in terms of your discussions here in the coming days, no. But the success of the work will determine whether you will make the argument for or against over to us or against one to us. Most of you want to know the base approach they had to follow. The question was asked, but he was not specific. He was rather saying it would be based on circumstances and all that. Were you pleased with that answer as a journalist? I was pleased. So he doesn't want to give us a lot of information. But we are only Kisutin here and he said he is a conservative coach. So Kisutin is that traditional one. No? In modern day football, we are here at Carlo Ancelotti. That is who he is. Or just our fundamentals, maybe. Or the less play, or just our less play football with the basics needed. And you should expect the normal four four two, the normal four five one, the normal blend of English game with pace. That is what Chris Hutton will bring to our blasters, and that is what he has told and for your corner or more everyone is said may approach to games. But Obi our own name the Chris Hutton name of the He should take it for me. Expect a very very fundamental coach who will go back to the basics and do things very 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 simple. So what he was always saying so on our balance, so balance no one here for for every team the transition between them you can go me defend it without the ball. That is what is basic for every coach. And I think that Chris Hutton knows his stuff. The two Ghanaians we cannot guarantee us. I'm okay. Who can guarantee us trophy? How many years we have without a trophy? You want the coach to come here and tell the whole world through the Ghanaian media? So I'm coming from a trophy. Then it becomes the basis for his evaluation. And on Kwa, I want my trophy. Into the way we are, yeah, share whether we are improving players, whether we team or the field we are already and we are improving. No, he doesn't want us to evaluate him basically on trophies. I went to the Andi Amaye. Into that was a smart one for me. Well, all in all, what would be your targets? Your achievements? Yeah, I, I think that for me, we try to be status hard here, and I want Chris to continue. It's about the sub quarter of the blasters. But I want to see a blaster sir. Obi saw it and can say, "Oh, team no yah me dia, team no me me dakra me bo, team no me new form kra me bo." I want the blaster to be competitive from the squad to the game side. But but I want us to be very very competitive on all grounds. I think that we have a good team. Me me call Kata. I saw a team and I see said there's a lot of potential in said AO team. The next phase is for us to get continuity with our team, and that is what I want to see from Chris Hutton. A team I'm in union with Benjamin Hutton so. By next year, see, I call up for now. It is a team of young and also see, I'm more the favorite for the competition. Yes, you have your players now. You, you bring your teacher, your coach, so he's top notch. He's one who can deliver the technical backing to the players. No matter how perform, so no guarantees, but a very very good team. I'm expecting something. Thank you very much. Well, I think that um, uh, the usual charade, coach, beba, obeba, be casa, and casa obe can obe too careful about it. Into only specific about your more person here. And the air kakra 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 one generally what I saw here is a 21 months for a coach, so on message a black star team, no considering stage here or no, a insufficient ideally or your coach or your alien to any football culture, it would take him some time to settle. Luckily, on a black star's technical setup, now you know, a fair idea of the their team, they were. But all your team now as the main man. And the original chain, the difference is one. So he will need to go through a certain process to understand what actually I require from him. That aside, what kind of identity are they by your coach be an SMOCN and your man? 
Your the fundamentals are all build your team, not Eddie Dinas. He wasn't so specific about it. He was running exactly because when to me and Sinip said, Me, Chris Hutton, me a disciplinarian, and to me, bar discipline will be the bedrock of team and may build the May Chris Hutton, me say, and to say, I'm a few players. So the only time I heard him speak about what he requires from players, you know, hey, where he spoke about hard work. But hard work won't be enough, especially considering the current Blasters team and the attitude and the character. We will need certain fundamentals that will shape character and will guard against certain attitude in camp. I am a team with Napoleon and coach and team in CP and can be the answer. He wasn't able to tell us time frames. Team now may be able to there is an impending tournament ever, which is the outcome. You have to have a team are you good enough to challenge for top honors over the next African tournament. And these are some of the things that Nami has met here. Yeah, he kept saying that you will have to compromise. And the compromise bit comes in at a point in time where on is so tough, on is so strict in terms of players offering. So, okay, I'm saying everything that transpired that. It was a good presentation. One is English, so he spoke good English. But in terms of substance, I have to convince many a Ghanaian. Support we have over here, Jumani area. Over there, man, about seventy-five percent, eighty percent. We do two years Ghana Blasters, and as I said, there have been several issues concerned with continuity um, in terms of um, squad and the war in terms of system, um, in terms of approaching games. And the young guy here showed him who said. The best one in San Jose team is we have a foundation we have to build upon it, and um, there are some negatives surrounding the team which I'm expecting to be attracting the Kaka. The other kind, um, local players here who are also being up in the setup. They are talking about the Cup Champions League. The Ghanaian players are more than one. The top three African leagues: Egypt, Morocco, Algeria. All of these particular countries, when it comes to the league, are top. The Ghanaian players are mostly a kind of one performing. Um, the big question is going to be that why many of us are able to infuse all of these players into the setup? I bet it's the core part of the team are or more. It is very important to get this particular kind of things in line. So the every Ghanaian will feel set or a part of this team. Tactically, Ghana is both saying the formation and it is saying you are going with a four two three one, you are going with a four five one, you are going with wingers, you are going with them. All of these things are very important. In terms of getting a specific style of play and a system and a formation that will suit and bring out every single player within the setup. Your quality is so good. At the end, never bring the best out of you. Oh, young players are the best. Who is your touchy man? Or touchy banana? Make sure that you fully convinced about what he touched on. Let me make sure that you clear because who have good is there now in terms of star players within the setup. Who party? Who are good is? The span of the team was Salisu. Then we were in Aki Williams. One center back, one defensive midfielder, one attacking midfielder, and you have a one striker. As to how are you bring the best out of them, we will solely depend on the system and the structures you want to put in. And then I'm not expecting some clarity. Who is with my uh, force nine and who is with my number ten and now? Me now a key component in this particular way as a gun officer fan to my prefer a bit my area. How are we using these young guns to fade out or more mobile? I had two years of much pay or more dues, and we transition. No, we respect them so much. Transitional party, one should not touch him. I'm many and you move, sir. Target is not seven. Now, me, Mr. Makaja said, any Ghanaian coach that comes here or they qualify for half more better get to be a minimal. Over a year minimal. If you give this particular blaster team to any local coach to qualify for the half more, we go. The main problem of Ghanaians has not been the qualification. It has always been about the performance at the tournament, the attitude of these players, continuity, and the level of quality. Yes, we're to seven there. We are not done yet. Nobody any idea. Any idea? That is where the issue lies. First, what is first? Do you think we have a chance? In the years, for Christian, he has so much experience. Qualification, I won't judge him with that. Qualification will only give you what you expect if you go into a major tournament, but not necessarily a standard to measure C A G. It is mere anymore. With how I share big guns, you be along the way. Ah, uh, cool. Perfect. Um, your shark is sitting. Your overview of the whole press conference, the whole thing. Well, um, first of all, uh, me feel sir, uh, it's been a very nice engagement. Um, the most important aspect of this engagement, and is a, uh, and this is a personal position. Say, so it took place in Kumasi. 
a place where I describe as a traditional home of the Blasters. Because over here in Ghana, all the major games I have are usually they take place in Kumasi. Main Kai Kwan, Mekai Egypt, Mekai Zambia, and recently against Nigeria. You know, uh, and Kumasi, you know, culturally or ironically becomes the traditional home of the Blasters. Now, the unveiling of the new coach and so it takes place. Again, before say be unveiling Nukra, now coach na the kind of call or take a course for her. And that is a huge sign of respect from the coach. Because to come to Asantimaim and go straight to meeting the media, start your event and everything without going to the king is disrespectful. So for the coach to have taken that particular step by going to Nana and I think that's a very huge sign of respect. Indeed, for me, uh, the processes have been very good. And the coach, you know, so the way he reacted to questions now, he showed a lot of confidence. You saying he was dancing around the it's, it's always going to be like that. You won't ask a coach a question that, will you, for instance, will you sack Obed from your team for him to say yes? You understand even if that is the case the coach will obviously tell you that it is about performance so if the player is unable to perform i have no option the wrong coach creating culture also a or b so it has always been like that with every coach and not chris alone we've been watching Mourinho, we've been watching thomas to we've been watching Badula and all those coaches and that is how they address questions so for me i think that he was articulate uh he showed a lot of confidence and i want to make me interested because most of the questions that he was answering, he did not guarantee us a uh, did not state his, his plan for the local league emphatically. He did not lay down his framework of which he's going to use as basis for his call up. So, how did he show confidence in He showed confidence by, first of all, admitting that he's been given a job and he must be able to at least establish a baseline of achievement. Because Obebo qualifies for 2023, Obebo AFCON 2023, Obebo qualifies for 2025, and qualifies for World Cup 2000, 2026, part of the World Cup qualifiers. And whatever he will be able to achieve more depends on how he performs in the qualifiers for 2023 and how he performs in the tournament. And he said it that Ohe on one casa as an individual, he will have to design his line of achievement that is the short term the middle medium term and in the long term and in the short term because training me united as i said at this particular moment it's not about medium or long term it's all about short term achieve results and that is the target that he's working towards i think that was the question you asked him and he was addressing that particular question so and, and i loved it i i personally appreciated the way he answered that particular question stating that in the short term he must be able to achieve results and that is what will guarantee him more time, you know, to be able to work towards winning a trophy. There is no coach in this world. I'll be able to answer, ah, coach, are you, win you winning this trophy for him to say yes? No. Even if Obo final, when he can't three goals, I can't last 50 minutes, my opponent and Obo to say, let the game end. Because football is full of uncertainties. Anything can happen. So for me, I, I admire the way he attacked the questions and how he addressed the media. What was your target for him? What, would, what, what kind of achievements for oh, yeah, I don't know what has been successful. For me, qualifying for the AFCON 2023, it's been something that Ghana we have been always been doing, especially when it comes to qualifying for the AFCON. In the, first of all, qualify for the AFCON. Or qualify for the AFCON, we are, the target will be to win it, from my perspective. Even though the FA has not given him a target to go and win it. But even so, when we need AFCON 2023, not a performance, not a year at the tournament, it gives promises. It depends on how the team will play. At the World Cup, we saw the Black Stars playing power football, all attacking, scoring goals. But we were conceding a lot of goals too, which means that defensively, we lack something. So I would want to see how he will play score, the power football at the World Cup, and also be able to defend very well. And these things, when he's able to do them, going forward, it gives guarantee, it gives assurance that So even if you are giving him 10 years, what it means is that and you just want him to be consistent. Ali Usisi, the first year with Senegal, he failed. 
at the AFCON. Only Ghana and AO group. He couldn't even qualify from the group. But what is he now? Ali Yusuf is one of the top coaches on the continent now. So I think that we need to, we need to, you know, appreciate the fact that he's coming on board as a new coach, even though he's been consistent with the technical team and the players. And then play the qualifiers, play very well, go to the tournament, do well, and then let's build on whatever will come up from the 2023 after. So you believe this is tough for results? Exactly, obviously, obviously.